Hi guys, Captain Nick Pavlakis here with Marine Max in St. Petersburg, at Marine Max St. Petersburg, and of course, Captain Keith from Marine Max in Clearwater. What's up guys? Now, today we're gonna be talking about something that gets a little confusing. It can be a lifeline, it can be a means of basic communication, but Keith, there's quite a few different channels on there. So what does each one mean exactly? So with your VHF radio, VHF stands for very high frequency, and all the new radios now are DSC cap or compatible, or they have DSC in them, which is digital selective calling. So on your VHFs, you want to monitor channel 16. Channel 16 is your hailing and distress channel. If you need to call somebody, you'll call them on 16. If it's ship to ship, if I want to call Nick, we're fishing somewhere and there's a good bite going on, I want to call him in. I'm going to switch up to either channel 68, 69, 71, 72, or 78. So, but with that, to do that, I've got to call him on 16 and then we'll switch. If you use the digital selective calling capability, you need to get an MMSI number, Maritime Mobile Service Identity, and you can get that through Boat US, CTO, and all that. It's free. And then what that'll allow you to do is if I knew his MMSI number, and I've got mine, I can just punch that in and it'll automatically digitally call him on channel 70 and then it'll switch us over to a pre-selected channel that we want to talk on so we don't have to waste time calling on 16. Also that little red distress button you've got on your VHF radios, in order for that to work you have to have an MMSI number. So if you need an, you're in an emergency, you need help, you're going to hold that little button down for like five seconds it'll broadcast your latitude and longitude to the Coast Guard, to any other boat that's out there in the area. It kind of like almost doubles the regular range of a regular VHF radio, so, because it's going through digitally. Um, also, um, I've got a handheld VHF radio with me here, so it's not a bad idea to have one of these. This happens to be an ICOM, there's many brands out there, but make sure it's submersible and waterproof. Um, so if you do end up in the water, you can get this and you can be able to talk to somebody. So there's a lot, you can do your research, there's a lot of things out there on VHF radio, but a very, very important tool for you to have on your boat. So Keith, I got a question for you. I think it's very unclear. What in the world does squelch mean on a VHF? So squelch is the background noise, right? So if you turn your radio on and you're not sure what the volume is, you can dump your squelch down to zero and you'll hear that static going in the background. Right. And then just kind of bump it up and out until that finally disappears. You don't want to overdo it. Don't go all the way to 10 with it because then it kind of limits the range on what you can hear. So just, just tweak it out until it disappears. Cool. And on another note, we were talking about different stations. The most underrated station, I think, is Channel 9. Very important, right? It's where you're calling for your bridges. You look behind us here on these Aquila 44s. Some of them are a little higher than others because you might have some track vision TV capabilities or antennas popping up. Channel 9 is where you're going to call for your different bridges. Keith, how exactly do you do that? How do you identify the bridge? And how would you call the bridge operator to be let through? So on your bridges, if as you're pulling up to the bridge, you look up at the top, you'll see like a little lightning bolt. Right. And it'll have the, the name of the bridge or it'll be on the, on the placard, on the height card on the side, on the fenders as you're going through. Um, and then you'll just, you'll call the bridge tender three times. So it's like out here, it's structure E. So it, it, over here at Tierra Verde. So you go structure E, structure E, structure E. This is Marine Max 1, over. And I go, Marine Max 1, this is structure E, and then you can go, hey, I'd like your next opening. Okay, thanks, and then they'll set you up. You know, it might be five minutes, 10 minutes, or come on through. But uh, bridge tenders are channel nine. You're hailing and distress channels, channel 16. If you're going through the locks here in Florida, it's channel 13. So don't try calling somebody on 16 when they're only gonna monitor either nine or 13. Well, thanks for joining us for more boating tips. Be on the lookout for many, many more. And if you have any suggestions on what to cover, go ahead, drop them in the comments. We do read them, contrary to popular belief, and we'll create your very own segment. So thanks, guys.